What is up guys, we are back on another abandoned adventure. Today we're in the north of England and we're here to check out this absolutely amazing abandoned house. The house has said to have paranormal activity. Other investigators have been here and caught some amazing EVPs. They've seen shadows in the rooms, all sorts of different activity. We are here in the little girl's bedroom that supposedly passed away here and we're just gonna investigate, explore and see what we can get. Now we don't come into these houses saying they're haunted. We come here, check them out, see if we can get anything and if we catch some evidence then that's absolutely amazing with all that said guys let's get straight into this going to do a little explore then we're going to get the equipment out and see what we can get hope you enjoy it guys remember to like comment subscribe hit notification for future explores and let's do it today we explore and investigate Susie's house the house has been abandoned for over 10 years when rumours said the family suffered an unspeakable tragedy. Susie, an 11 year old quiet and pleasant girl, lived in the property with her parents. They would notice Susie, their only child, would play with an imaginary friend and was often seen and heard speaking and playing with them in the garden till the late hours of the night. After several months the parents grew worried as she stopped playing with the nearby children and became more and more reclusive. They reported she even stopped talking with them until she would only interact with an imaginary friend. One day a neighbour passed by the house and realised the family hadn't been seen for a while and the garden was filled with the daughter's toys. She knocked on to check on the family to realise their home had been left abandoned seemingly overnight. Once word had gotten out of the family's disappearance the rumours began. Some say Susie had not become reclusive at all but had actually passed away and the parents left after they couldn't cope any longer. Some say Susie's imaginary friend was in fact a demonic entity and the house had become abandoned after an exorcism failed and the family ran away, never to return. There is even a rumour that the family were seen heading down into the nearby tunnel system that ran underneath their home. We do not know what occurred that night to make the home become abandoned, but join us as we explore and investigate Susie's house and see what and who may remain. Okay explorers, so we are going to have a good look around now and then we're going to investigate the property. Like I said, it's absolute vibes in this place, something quite unwelcoming as you enter the property. So just going to begin with a little walk through and then we'll get the equipment out. So straight through this front door now and we are straight into the living room. You can see the three piece still sat here. The old carpets, looks quite nice with the light coming through, but check this out. Obviously where the family would have sat around, watched some TV, chilled out. Should be quite active in these rooms where the family were. You can see on the side here, people have been in. There is vapes and sweets, little bits and bobs from people that have just come into the house, maybe having a look around, seeing what's what. Maybe squatters, more teddies here. Look at this, the little girl's teddies littered all around the house. But the artwork's still up on the wall here. We do have Stephen King novels. So obviously a fan of the horrors. But guys, like I say, and it's absolute vibes in this place. Old wooden beams, you usually see that on these farms. See if there's a year on these papers. 2004 there. Anything on here? Just looking for a date, again 2004. So it looks like it's been abandoned a while. More bits just on the windowsill there. Nice little ornaments. Like I was saying, it's such a shame to see these houses abandoned in this way. What are you thinking, Matt? It's pretty creepy, Matt. It is, isn't it? There's it's definitely like a, some vibe in here. Yeah, it's like a very uneasy feeling, isn't it? Yeah, I think so too. Check this out, on this unit here. Faithful Servant, Book of the Queen, Glasses, a Bible. Is that a Bible? I think so. Yeah. There's actually keys, look at this, best dad in the world. That's quite sad to see knowing what happened here. Wow. These are like quite retro, aren't they? Quite dated, these units. But 2004 is the latest date so far. 
More models on the windowsill. These vapes are everywhere, I don't know who's been in here. Yeah, Rubik's Cube. Look at this chair, just sat. This looks like a dining room area, to be fair. I think it will be. Looking out into the garden. Nice views, really. What have we got here? Just under the stairs. Yeah, just under the stairs. Schnapps, peach schnapps. Someone's on a little tipple there. Kitchen area. Let's see if we can see inside. Oh, it's filthy. Disgusting. We can see broken glass, cards thrown on the floor there. Oh, wrong way. Oh, that's Rami. Oh, look at this. Happy birthday, Susie. Susie's the little girl's name, Matt. A hand-drawn letter there. Oh, tampons, not very nice to come across. See bits on the side here. Just making sure we shut all the cupboards. Don't want mice jumping out at us. Well. Old telephone there. When out, when all else fails, call your mother. Ooh. Oh, oh, crap! My pants then. It's a toy rat on the side. I thought it was a real one. <laughs> there is quite a bit left, isn't there? Little bits. Yeah. Now look at this jam on the side. All left here. Plate stand. That's from a grave, isn't it? Mate, there is uneasy vibes here. <laughs> yeah. And I keep catching the uh, the teddies yeah, in the corner was, of my eye. It freaks me out as well. And I keep thinking someone's peeping through the windows or something. But look at them, all uh, all the little girls' teddies there. The garden's proper creepy, mate. They're everywhere, mate. Look on there. But it's such a nice house in a nice area, but the garden's just, oh, it's just creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's head upstairs, see what we can find there. <coughs> Missing picture you can see there. Oh, these stairs look quite daunting, you know. The artwork there. Oh, smells very musky and dusty up here. Just scales on the top there. Starting this room. Look at this nice circle window. TV, old tube back telly. You can see the age of it by the TV remotes. Actually, add Sky as well, but they are quite old Sky remotes. So 2004 is the latest date. Little dresser there, wardrobe. Strange, strange place. Oh, mouse, dead. Well, dead flies on the side there. That's not a good sign. Usually, sign of something in the house. I am definitely feeling like there is something here. Looking forward to investigating. Into the bathroom now. Quite dated with the green. Oh. All flannels and cloths on the side. Plenty of places for people to hide and jump out on us. But everything seems to be left up here. The bath, old retro shower. And the lamp, there's clothes still in the washer there, wash basket. Looks like somebody has thrown them everywhere. Looks like the boiler's been stolen as well. That usually covers the boiler. Got some books and magazines on the floor here. Would these have a year on them? It's definitely 2004, definitely. All your lotions and potions on the side there on the back. And you always see these in the old farms. The heaters like that up on the wall. I was saying, there's something weird about this staircase, quite daunting. Heading into another bedroom now. Teddy's still on the bed. Wolves fan. Into the football there. And who are these guys? Some stickers. Definitely a child's room as well. Christmas decorations on the bottom of the wardrobe. <laughs> Take that. Not sure what that is. But 
definitely a child's bedroom. This could be the girl that died's room. Quite a weird thought, but you can tell the whole house has been stripped, which wouldn't surprise me. Is that another heater? A fan on the wall there? Someone's been drinking in here. Definitely squatters, 100%. Artwork up, the big old teddy there, and then her bed, single bed, handbags on the side, very uneasy vibes up here. Like I was saying, not very welcoming, mum and dad's room. The dressers, mirrors, Hans Christian Anderson book, home. It's quite sad to see that it's not a home anymore. Angels and Demons book over on the side there. Just moved past this wardrobe and have to sidestep. Cleared out again. Guys, there's something definitely here with us. I actually feel like being watched right now, especially coming into this room. Um, gonna get the equipment out in a second but just to explain the vibes so it definitely feels like they're walking around the house with us it feels like somebody still lives here but obviously I don't see people living in these conditions so we're gonna get the equipment out walk around with the k2s and hopefully we'll pick up on something maybe even the little girl that passed Okay, Explorer, so we're gonna walk around using the K2, try and pick up on any energy in any of the rooms. We're also gonna have the spirit talker going, so if there's any spirits that wanna tell us something or have anything to say, they can pass it through that device. So guys, K2 on, spirit talker on. K2's going off already there. So we're just gonna walk across, shout out, see if anyone wants to speak with us. If there's any spirits in this house, do you want to grab this device in my hand? Let me know that you're here. You can speak through the device on the table as well. Can you tell us your name? Or if you passed away here? Pretty quiet on the K2 at the moment. Spirit Talker's doing its thing over there. If there's any spirits in this house, do you want to speak to us? Do you want to let us know that you're here? You can speak through the device on your table. You can grab this device in my hand, it'll change colours. My name's Adam, this is Matt, we don't mean any harm whatsoever. Just come to see if anybody still resides in this house. Crash outside. <laughs> <laughs> Medieval. 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 Do you know what's strange about that? That's Out back, those old tunnels. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll show the tunnels before we leave, but there's old like a bricked up tunnels, yeah. which we believe actually go under the house. Bit strange, isn't it? Medieval, yeah, I wonder if that linked up. Mm, maybe. Like, we always think the houses are abandoned, but the houses are haunted, sorry. Could be the yeah. land. So we're just gonna pop this in the pocket. We should hear it going off as we walk around. Just gonna make our way through into the kitchen area. Usually do get good responses in kitchens. A lot of activity happened when the family were alive. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. As we walked into the yeah, room. Yeah, and you were saying a lot of activity happened, didn't you? Yeah. If there is anyone here with us, can you touch the device on the side? It'll change colours. It'll let us know that you're here. Is there anyone that wants to contact with us? You can reach out, touch the device, you can touch me. You can use our energy. Can you repeat after me? So I've actually been told we shouldn't do three knocks because three knocks is demonic. <laughs> so if we get three knocks in return, then we know it's a bit, mm. a bit dodgy. Interesting, man. Is this where you spent most of your time? So it said, I'm glad you're here. Can you tell us why you're happy we're here? Are you lonely here? Don't go down there. Mate, I've literally just been talking about the tunnels. I was thinking about them. 
Yeah, literally, you imagine the tunnels don't go down there. Don't go down there. Well, they are bricked up, so we can't actually go down there. Maybe, maybe something's down there. That's weird, do not it? Yeah. That's Which, actually really, like, relevant. Well, the tunnels do pass under the house. I feel hopeless. I feel hopeless. Why do you feel hopeless? Is there nothing you could have done about the way you passed? Was it all of a sudden? Did you know it was going to happen? You can reach out to this device in my hand. You can make any knocks or bangs for us. You can speak through the device. Why don't you want us to go down into the tunnels? Can you tell us why? Just gonna keep that playing. Yeah, I get the vibes from up here, mate. Yeah. It's very strange. So if there's no. any... No way. No, I didn't say tunnel. It's literally just said tunnel. There's no... What? It's literally just said tunnel. I feel like there's something under the house. Yeah, mate. That, mate, what's the chances of that? That's strange. So we're just entering the bedroom now. Guys. That's <laughs> weird, isn't it? I'm gonna pop this on her dresser. Can you tell us what is beneath the house? Or if there's a spirit or entity beneath the house? That's so weird. Mate, how relevant is that though? Very. Can you tell us what's beneath the house? Were you here before the house was built? Can you tell us that? Maybe. Maybe it's a lot older than we believe. It might even be medieval times. Though. That's what it's saying. Guys, I'm just going to show you these tunnels. They're literally, literally there. You can see the tunnels. And they go down and under all this bit of land. Right. This is telling us about tunnels. Don't go down there. <laughs> the chance of its own tunnel. Something is either haunting the land or something under the house. Because we believe we were here to speak to a little girl. Yeah. Jargadol. Jargadol? Is that even a word? I'm not sure, Google it. I said what's beneath the house. Jargadol, what did they say? Jargadol. Jargadol. Someone will have to tell us what that means, mate, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clue. I'll Google it. So if there is any spirits or entities, anything demonic in this house or beneath it or on the land, come and speak to us. Come and touch this device. Suspect. Suspect. Pretty sinister. I think we've come across some in here. Yeah, I do. That may be in the tunnels. I think we've come across some that we weren't expecting. Definitely. Something about this stairwell, you know. Yeah, I just I just turned my camera in the quick point. There was a bloody teddy in that scared. <laughs> so this is the little girl's room. I'm gonna put this on her bed. I'm gonna put the spirit talker on her bed as well. So if the little girl that Mate. Kitty's going off. If the little girl's here with us now, can you make it go to the rest? Zachary. Zachary. That is weird, mate. Can you touch the K2, the little black device? It'll light up more for us. If there is a demonic entity in this house, did you know the little girl that lived here? <gasps> mate. Mate, what are the odds? Straight to red as you asked that, man. I'm holding it as well. Straight to red. So I've just asked about the demonic entity we believe is on the land, and the K2's just gone all the way to red. Maybe it's the little girl warning us, or... Did you have anything to do with the passing? They blamed me. They blamed me. They blamed me. Do you reckon that's the evil entity talking, mate? Maybe. Something's happened that they blamed. Who blamed you? Did they blame you for the little girl passing away here? Did the demonic entity have anything to do with the little girl? That's so strange, that's just pulsing. Like a pulse. Yeah. But as soon as you asked that mate, it went straight to red. No, that is weird. Collapse. Collapse. Maybe. Seems to be so relevant to what we're asking as well. Yeah. Like the tunnels. Did you have anything to do with the little girl and collapse? Collapse, yeah. Did the tunnels collapse under the house? That's a good question. 
customer. Because I'm just thinking they're bricked up, aren't they? Did you pass away in the tunnels and you can't leave? Maybe the tunnels collapsed on. That's what I'm thinking. Good and evil here. Good and evil here. Maybe the little girl good. Yeah. That's so strange. So it's like it's telling us that don't go down in the tunnels, they collapsed. Yeah, and there's good and evil here. And we've, we've literally just been talking about demonic spirit. That's still pulsing the K2 as well. I well think we're on to something with this. Can you make the black device go all the way to red if you're here with us? It's going quicker. If you just stand near it? Do you know what? It's like a heartbeat. It is, mate. It is like a heartbeat. So if the little girl is still here, is this your teddy? Your family. Your family. Your family. Right, let's just try the last room. And then we'll get the other equipment out and see if we can get anything there. Ah! Wait, what happened there? Just drop the K2. Mate, I absolutely jumped up my skin. Just dropped it, we're all right. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on the bed again. See, mate, I swear I started levitating, never mind, jumped so much for me. Before any skeptics go, the phone is always on airplane mode when we do these. More that we don't want anyone to call us halfway through an investigation yeah, yeah, yeah. more than anything. <laughs> this seems like the parents' room now. So yeah. if the little girl did pass away, like the rumours say, there would have been a lot of grief in this room at night, a lot of trauma attached to this room. If the, um, if there is anything in this room with us now, can you make any knocks or bangs? Can you grab the device on the bed, the green device? Machine. Machine. Yeah, grab the machine. They might think it's a machine. Mm. Still pulsing, but not yeah, as much not in as, here. Not as strong. So, if there's a spirit that was killed in the tunnels or died in the tunnels here, can you let us know by speaking through the device? Are you trapped in the tunnels? Are you trapped in the tunnels? Are you trapped in the tunnels? Listen, Listen carefully. carefully. Listen carefully, I just said any knocks or bangs. Yeah. Should we give it a sec? Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna listen out. Come on. Sounds a bit like rain, but... It's not rain, is it? No, it's nice. Strange. Can you make a knock or a bang for us? Can you tell us the name of the demonic spirit that we believe here? So it sounds like something has died in the tunnels yeah. under the house. And it's had collapse as well. And it said collapse. And they've bricked the tunnels up. Quite relevant. Very strange. Mm. Said good and evil's here. Yeah. Did someone die in the tunnels? Can you tell us? Maybe give us a name of who died? Collapse. I just can't believe we've even got tunnels through it. No, that's weird as we're talking about it. listening out come on use our energy make a knock or a bang scroll 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 shall we uh get the rem pod in that out yeah yeah let's get it going let's head down try it and see what we got Okay guys, so we're just setting up in the living room. We've got the REM pod over by the door. We've got the cat balls and we've got the spirit talker going as well. We're just gonna do some shout out to see if we can pick anything up. Hopefully we'll get some more answers because it's going pretty well so far. So if there's anyone in this room with us now, can you speak to us through the device on the table? Can you set one of the balls off on the chairs or maybe on the floor here? Or can you go towards that red device in the doorway? If you come into the room or leave it, it should set that device off. So if there's the little girl 
in this house with us now? Can you let us know by touching one of the devices? Maybe speaking through one of the devices or you can make any knocks or bangs. Can you tell us any more about the tunnels or if somebody passed away down there? Oracle. 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 I'm not sure. No, sir. If somebody passed away underneath the house, can you speak to us through one of these devices? Can you let us know that you're here in any way? Use our energy. If there is a demonic entity or spirit in this house, let us know. We don't mean any harm whatsoever. We are just here to speak with you. You can repeat after me. Pretty quiet. Mm. It's like strangely quiet. Mm. You threatened by us. Do you not want us here? If so, there's no need to be threatened by us. We are just here to communicate with you. Was this your home? Can you tell us your name? Or how you passed away here? Lufu. Lufu? Is that a name? I'm sure not sure, mate, but that's two strange names we've got through. Yeah. Very strange. I'm gonna to have to look into these names, see if we can get anything on that. That one word we got, mate, whatever that was. Yeah. It's all stored, so I'll be able to <laughs> yeah, have a look. Yeah. If there is anything demonic here, let us know. Show us that you're here. We're not afraid of you. Set one of these devices off. You said that there's good and evil here. Me not showing us anything at the moment. Are you scared of us? I don't know how old this house is, but it's got the wooden beams now, isn't it? So it's quite an old house, but it's nowhere near the the time of the tunnels or mines. No, or whatever no not if it's say medieval. There's no way. Come on, set one of these devices off. Oh, mate. <gasps> mate, I literally missed that. The cat ball's just rolled, mate. The whole cat ball has just moved off the arm of the chair. Vice is off. Vice oh, <gasps> is off. Oh, Come on, set one of these devices off. Oh, and do you know what's weird? Hey. It hasn't even gone off. I'm beside you. No way. You just knocked the cat ball off the side No of way. Was so that... it's just knocked the cat ball off the arm of this chair. And it's and like, I'm it beside, said, you, beside you. Mate. What? That's was it, crazy. Was that you who knocked the That's cat ball off the, off the chair? Can you tell us? It's weird how it didn't go off though, it even though it moved. Yeah. Wow. Can you tell us if it's good or evil that's beside me? Is it one of the demonic entities or is it one of the nicest spirits that reside in this home? I'm a bit freaked out. <laughs> I am. It's literally just not the cat ball. The cat ball's literally just moved me. And it said I'm beside you as well. Would you like me to go into the bedroom? That's where the K2 was going off. What do you think? I don't know, I'm shaking. I might go <laughs> up there on my own. See what I can yeah. get. I'll stay down here and do, do something down there. Yeah. Can do. See if I can get so I'm gonna head up to the bedroom now where the K2 was going off, see if I can get anything. Matt's gonna stay down here, do his little investigation in here. That's so weird. Yeah, do you wanna take your phone with it? I'll use a... Uh, yeah, completely just knock the whole cat ball off the chair. Yeah, I missed it as well, mate. I'm feeling that I missed it, but... She shouts. She shouts. She shouts. Come 
Come away. Okay, Explorer, so I'm up in the girls' bedroom. I've got the Necrophonic. I have the REM pod on the bed. The music box facing into the doorway, so if anything comes in or leaves, I should be able to know. And I'm just going to do some shout out, shout outs with the Necrophonic. Hopefully we'll get some in. So if there's any spirits in this room with me right now, can you speak to me through this device? If there's a little girl present in this room with me, let me know, speak to me. In the bedroom, the bedroom that said. Can you tell me a name? Can you tell me your name? Can you set one of the devices off? If you walk in front of this black box on the stool, if you enter the room, it'll play a nice tune for you. If you go to the board to the bed, if you want to sit on the bed, it'll set that device off there, it'll let me know that you're here. Can you tell me how many spirits are in this house? Two. Definitely said two. Is there a demonic spirit here? Is there something that doesn't want us here? Are we not welcomed by someone? Can you tell me if somebody that passed away in the tunnels is here? Are you trapped on this land? See. Can you tell me if you had something to do with the girl passing away? picking up something there. Did the tunnels collapse beneath the house or did the girl collapse? <laughs> Me. Getting the same voice over a few frequencies there. Kid. The kid, yes. Is the kid still here? Did you take the kid? Yeah. What's strange guys is when I was setting up, these devices were actually going off and now I've started filming. They haven't gone off once. Very strange. Absolutely nothing at all. Who was it that knocked the cat ball off downstairs? Yes. Yes. Who was it? Me. Little girl. Is it Susie, the little girl? Can you tell me how you passed away? Make a knock or a bang, set this device off and I'll leave. Come on. Set one of these devices off and I'll leave. That's the deal. Mom. Getting leave quite a lot through this now. Okay guys, we're going to leave it there with this one. So much to go through with editing. The K2 going off on this bed. The Necrophonic coming in with multiple answers. I need to look at those names that we were getting when we were asking for a name. I definitely feel like something's happened under this house though, the tunnels. Definitely something with the tunnels. It said claps, don't go down there. And literally said tunnels as we were talking about them. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, guys. I think this has been absolutely amazing. Interesting house with interesting paranormal to look back on. So if you've liked this video, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores. We are uploading every week, 7pm on a Sunday. So we'll see you next time, guys. We are on to the next one. Peace.